Welcome to the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view here on Welcome to Wrestling. These six women are duking it out for the opportunity to become the number one contender to Paige's WTW Women's Championship. We kick things off in the ring with Alicia Fox and Bailey. Fox has had an impressive showing in the last couple of weeks. But she's got a difficult task. Starting from the one and two position with Bailey. Of course, Fox had her issues with Sasha recently. And we're counting down to the first pod opening. Who will it be? It's Asuka, the Empress of Tomorrow. Goes for a drop kick on Bailey. Swatted away. Bailey with a great start here. Remember, pinfall or submission to be eliminated from the match. We have the men's elimination chamber to close the show tonight. Swinging DDT from Asuka onto Alicia Fox. Then she goes after Bailey. Suplex. Another competitor will enter the ring shortly. Asuka into the pin. It's a one count though. And it's Sasha Banks. Remember her and Alicia Fox have had something of a mini rivalry recently. Bailey with the elbow drop. Sasha immediately goes after Alicia Fox. It was to be expected. Asuka and Bailey outside the ring on that raised platform. And now Sasha and Alicia join them as well. Suplex to Alicia Fox. Got to hurt. On that flooring. And again. Pin. Sasha's climbing up. Another pod's about to open. Oh, Sasha Banks. With a huge dive from a top. Or from halfway up the chamber to Alicia Fox risky move Charlotte Flair joins the match nobody's been eliminated yet Sasha going in heavy on Alicia Fox as I said in recent weeks we have had something of a rivalry Asuka has got in between those two whilst Charlotte goes after Bailey in the ring Becky Lynch is the last competitor waiting to join the match. And her countdown starts now. She's raring to go. Here she comes. Becky Lynch, of course. Her and Charlotte have issues. Charlotte Flair's music interrupted Becky's match the other week. Just waiting to see who will be eliminated first here. Such a strong lineup in the elimination chamber. Alicia and Bailey have been in from the beginning. So you would imagine fatigue may play a part. Sasha with the pin. The ref's got a lot to deal with here. All six women. Sasha Banks. Backstabber into the bank statement, but rolled up by Asuka. Asuka did well to reverse that into a pinning situation. Charlotte Flair. 
You know, big knee drop to the outside on the Bailey. And everyone's squared off now. Asuka with a hip attack into the pin. Sasha survives. Who will win this match and become number one contender to face Paige at fast lane? Pin from Bailey. And everyone getting offense in, getting pins in, but no one managing to get the three count. Northern Lights suplex from Alicia Fox to Asuka. And Asuka is eliminated by Alicia Fox. And what a hot streak Alicia Fox is on. She's picked up some wins in recent weeks. And she's just eliminated the Empress of Tomorrow. Surprising. I, I wasn't sure that we would see Asuka go out so quick. But in reality, it wasn't that quick. She has been in there for quite some time. All the competitors have. And Alicia starting in the uh, in the ring with Bailey. Both of those two are doing really well here in this match. Uh, Alicia's got them joined outside the ring with uh, Sasha and Becky. Bailey into the pin on Charlotte, and it's a two count. Bailey to belly. Charlotte's in trouble here. Bailey just needs to get the pin in. And for some reason, she let go of it. I think it's because Alicia was attacking her, and she hits the Bailey to belly on Alicia as well. And Alicia has been eliminated. Sasha with a huge dive from the top of the chamber. That's two massive. Aerial manoeuvres in this match from Sasha Banks. She is going all out to win this thing. But it could have a detrimental effect to her chances later on in the match. If it takes too much out of her. So Alicia Fox has been eliminated. Sasha Banks on the outside. Backstabber into the bank statement on Becky. Rolls her up though. Same as what Asuka did earlier in the match. And it's two counts. That's twice that's happened now to Sasha. Bailey sent flying through the ropes. And Sasha's back in the ring now. Bailey with the suplex to Charlotte. Charlotte's struggling a little bit here. She's pinned again. Two count. Submission move. In the middle of the ring here from Becky Lynch. Charlotte being covered again. And she's got Charlotte. Bailey eliminates Charlotte. Sasha pins Becky. And I think Bailey's got two eliminations now. Sasha and Bailey going at each other here. Of course, friends. In the elimination chamber, there is no friends. It's all about yourself and what you can do. And these women want that Welcome to Wrestling Women's Championship. And they're within sight of getting the opportunity now. Three weeks of grueling competition to get in this match. Neck breaker from Sasha Banks. Cover on her friend, friend Bailey. And Bailey's eliminated, so it's down to Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch. Becky. Two count there. Who's going to go and face Paige at Fastlane? Oh. 
Hold on. Becky's got the disarmor in. Will Sasha tap? She's locked it in. The ref's looking. She's had it in for a while now. And Sasha survives. Goes for the pin though after the disarm her. And Becky Lynch wins the Elimination Chamber match. She locked in the disarm her. It wasn't enough to get the submission but it took enough out of Sasha Banks. And Becky Lynch is going to go to Fastlane and face Paige for the Welcome to Wrestling Women's Championship. A good showing from Bailey and Alicia Fox who started in the 1 and 2 position. But Becky Lynch with the number 6 position had that advantage and she used it to her effect. She goes on to face Paige at Fastlane. Second match here at the Elimination Chamber. And Ty Dillinger has the opportunity to win this YouTube Championship from Sami Zayn. He's not had any sort of success versus Sami Zayn since Royal Rumble. But tonight, Kevin Owens is banned from ringside. So Dillinger has a better opportunity at winning this championship. Sami Zayn's held it for a month now. And he'll look to hold on to it for even longer. He would love to take it to WrestleMania. Just stomping and whacking Ty Dillinger's head into the ring post of the turnbuckle. There's press. Oh, pop up drop kick from Sami Zayn there. Big knee to the face. Cover from Sami, but a kick out at one. The YouTube Championship. Some would say it's the mid-level championship here at Welcome to Wrestling. But Sami Zayn hopes to change that with his title run. And make people think of it as the number one championship here at Welcome to Wrestling. A single leg Boston. Time manages to turn that round. And you have to fear for Ty, really. Although he's got the opportunity tonight, he has not had any success in recent weeks. And uh, you would think that if he doesn't manage to capture this belt tonight, his opportunity may well have passed. Sami Zayn with the blue thunder bomb. And he just seems to hit that move so suddenly. We've seen it in the last few weeks so many times. He goes for the cover. Ty Dillinger manages to kick out. We haven't seen the Haluva kick since Royal Rumble, I believe. And that might be the... Oh, there it is! As I was mentioning it, Sami Zayn hits the halluva kick and that could win it here and it does Sami Zayn retains his YouTube title 
And Ty Dillinger has just had a miserable run of it since Royal Rumble in this feud. And you have to think his opportunity may have passed him now with Fastlane and WrestleMania on the way. I was mentioning that we hadn't seen the Halluva kick for a little while there since the Royal Rumble event. And then all of a sudden, Sami Zayn with a short run up hit the Halluva kick and won the match. So he holds on to the YouTube Championship and with his buddy Kevin Owens in his corner, it might be some rain for Sami Zayn. Now we have the Triple Threat Tornado Tag Match. The B Team have done enough in recent weeks to book themselves a place in this match. The New Day winning a couple of matches on Smackdown Live in previous weeks. They demanded that they be allowed a chance at the Tag Team title, so AOP have their work cut out here to hold on to the Welcome to Wrestling Tag Team Championships. These matches get a little bit crazy. Of course, we saw one a few weeks ago on, on Raw. In which the AOP managed to come out on top. They actually stole that win. B Team had a lot of the, uh, the match in their favour, but... AOP managed to steal the pin and it was on Revival who have fallen away in the tag division. Picked up losses all over the place. So everyone's outside the ring. Kofi Kingston and Big E, the team are for the New Day tonight. Clubbing blows in the middle of the ring there. Big E going after Axel. He avoids. Hits his own clothesline. And the B team, you know, they could be the surprise package here. Team. Kofi Kingston holding his own outside of the ring. Oh, Dallas joins the action again. The big eight. And there's just carnage in the ring currently. Kofi Kingston with the boom drop. Goes for the pin. The AOP, they have each other's back. Applying a submission move here on Axel. But he's dumped out the ring by Axel. Headbutt to Kofi Kingston. Well, Dallas 
Is he going to attempt a pin here? He is. He's broken up again. And that's the thing with these matches. The pin attempts or submission attempts usually get broke up until the later stages of the match when there's some more tired bodies around. People can't react as quickly. with a close line to Aikum. And he goes after Rezar. And we're starting to see people lose a bit of stamina here. Kofi Kingston just hanging onto the ropes, regaining his breath whilst he can. Aikum outside the ring. Bo Dallas is down. Kofi Kingston back into the, the mix. On oh, a back elbow from Axel busts Kofi Kingston and open. And a German suplex from Rizar. Bo Dallas shoves Rizar into the post. He had an opportunity there. He could have gone for the pin. Kingston. Back to his feet. Starts playing up to the crowd. A comes back in. AOP have the numbers here. Kingston giving a good account of himself. And Big E now rejoins. Now it's the new day with the number advantage. Boom drop again from Kingston. He should have gone for the pin. Trouble in paradise. Goes for the cover. Axel's in the ring. He could break this one up. He does. And Kingston just missed his window, I think, there. As you see, fatigue setting in. Big E takes a drop kick to the back. This could be anyone's. Axel. And Aiken just gets back to his feet in time. Leg sweep. Big clothesline from Rezar. Rezar looks to hit the power bomb. He does. Axel goes to steal the pin. He's broken up. Now Axel's lining something up, but Rizar interrupts. Well, Axel manages to to hit Kofi Kingston, but Big E now. Big ending. And we're getting towards, I think, the la the late stages of this. He's going to hit another one. He does. It could be Big East to win here. Goes for the cover. And the new day. Big East steals the win with two big endings. And AOP have lost their tag championships to the new day. And they have been on a bit of a run of late. And in their first opportunity at the Welcome to Wrestling Tag Team Championships, they win it. Each team had a good show in here, but the New Day come out on top. Kofi Kingston 
took some punishment as you can see but he doesn't give a damn now and there's the tag team championships being handed to the new day Xavier Wood will be ecstatic with his teammates and they will now hold the belt in the Freebird rule And we close tonight's pay-per-view with the men's elimination chamber. Again, just to remind you, this is for the opportunity to face Dolph Ziggler at Fastlane. And we start with Jeff Hardy and Dean Ambrose in the ring. Bulldog from Dean Ambrose. An absolute stacked lineup. In this main event, you've got men who could all easily go on and win the Welcome to Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. You see there, John Cena, Brock Lesnar as well, waiting to come in. Big elbow from Dean on Jeff. And we have a third man entering any second now. There's also AJ Styles waiting to come in. And Drew McIntyre. This could be absolute carnage this match. And number three is Brock Lesnar. The Beast. He's going to take some beating. But he's in earlier than some of the others. Another Bulldog from Dean Ambrose. Dean goes after Brock. And Lesnar finally gets some offense in after the first two competitors took to him. Which is a good strategy. Another Bulldog from Dean Ambrose. He's favoring that move. We have a fourth man entering the elimination chamber. Who will it be? It's John Cena. And Dean Ambrose goes straight after him. And they pass each other on the way. And Brock to the outside. Dean just <laughs> avoiding everyone. Not a bad strategy. Cena pins Jeff. Good crowd reaction from the Welcome to Wrestling fans for Cena. Fifth man about to enter the elimination chamber. No eliminations. Been very similar to the way the ladies match went and it's Drew McIntyre the hybrid athlete possesses everything that you need for a match like this and he's going to go for a German suplex welcome to suplex city Drew McIntyre that's three in a row. With the three men battle it out outside. Neck breaker from Cena to Ambrose. And AJ Styles is about to join the match. So that's everyone in. Headbutt from Drew to Brock Lesnar. Here comes AJ Styles. Oh, a headbutt back from Brock Lesnar. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with Drew. Sit-out powerbomb from Cena to Dean Ambrose. It's not enough. Brock also going for the cover. A lot going on for the referee here. Jeff and Dean been in since the beginning. They're coping okay. Brock Lesnar's going up into the Tree of Woe. And Drew's just stomping away at his face. 
missing the leg. Crab from AJ Styles, but Cena manages to get out of that. It's a fairly even contest. You have to worry for Jeff and Dean, who've been in there the longest. Twist of fate from Jeff Hardy to Dean. Cover. And Dean Ambrose is eliminated. Whilst that was happening, Drew McIntyre powerbombed AJ Styles over the top row onto that raised platform. Quite a bit of punishment for AJ Styles here. Cena now going after him. So Dean Ambrose is out of the Elimination Chamber and won't be going on to face Dolph Ziggler. Brock Lesnar's got Jeff Hardy up. And he hits the F5. And you would imagine Jeff Hardy is going to struggle to kick out of that. But he does. Amazing. And now Styles drop kicks Lesnar. So Jeff Hardy with an elimination here in the Elimination Chamber. Survived an F5. Pin attempt. Now every man is going to be back in the ring. Jeff Hardy would be wise to just take a rest outside there. And he's doing. But here comes Brock Lesnar. No rest. And Brock Lesnar's around. Cena gets Styles up. Sit out power bomb. It's just not enough. Styles has taken quite a bit of punishment. Brock Lesnar's driven into the Exposed cage. Attitude adjustment to Drew McIntyre. Hardy from the top rope as well. And Drew McIntyre survives. Pin on Brock Lesnar. The ref didn't get to it quick enough. Hardy taking it to Brock Lesnar outside the ring. Hits him into the cage again. Pin from Cena. And Drew survives again. Twist of fate to Brock Lesnar. And then AJ Styles goes and steals the pin. But it's not enough. AJ Styles, the opportunist there, tried to steal the pin on Brock Lesnar Jeff Hardy with one elimination already nearly set up another one Jeff Hardy now back in the ring going up to the top Cena in position oh and he got the knees up did Cena he's turned the tables but then Jeff manages to turn it back round Puts him into the Boston Crab. Cena gets out of it. Now Drew McIntyre is going back to Suplex City for the second time in this match. And this time it's on that raised platform. A little bit harder than the ring. Pin attempt from Lesnar. Calf crusher. And the ref's busy with AJ and Cena. Drew might have enough, but he doesn't, he's out, and now Jeff Hardy's been picked up, oh and he manages just to get out of that, Jeff Hardy taking it to Lesnar, Cena's been bust open, and Brock Lesnar is eliminated from Jeff Hardy off that power bomb. Jeff Hardy, of course, has been in from the beginning. What a showing. He's had two eliminations and one of them is Brock Lesnar. No mean feat at all that. 
Cena took a back elbow from AJ and he's, uh, he's bleeding profusely Jeff Hardy up to the top row Cena back to his feet Styles back to his feet gets an elbow in on Cena AJ struggling Jeff Hardy going back up Cena trying to crawl to his feet what's Jeff Hardy going to do here Swanton bomb on to AJ Styles goes for the pin oh and a kick out I thought Jeff was going to get his third elimination there Cena took a bit of that Swanton bomb in the process Jeff Hardy has all the momentum going here and John Cena back to his feet goes after Jeff Hardy it's a jab then the Thez press and Cena remember can just turn things around Inverted DDT from Styles. Jeff and Cena trying to get back to their feet. AJ Styles locks in the Styles Clash and he hits the Styles Clash on Cena. Rolls through for the pin. And a two count. John Cena. Absolutely unbelievable stuff from him. Oh, and I think Jeff was going for the twist of fate, but. AJ interrupted it. Now Jeff goes for the pin. AJ interrupts again. And I don't know why he would do that because Cena was in trouble there. Now Jeff goes after AJ. And he leaves him outside of the ring. Jeff Hardy back up to the top rope. He's going up onto the chamber. Oh, and he dives and misses. Jeff Hardy, well we know that he's a bit of a daredevil but it's backfired on him and could that be his undoing, he had some momentum going there AJ rolls through for the calf crusher Cena manages to get out of that but Jeff Hardy puts him into the pin and it's a two count again, Cena, I don't know where he's getting this from Jeff Hardy's in the Styles Clash oh and he hits it Jeff Hardy went to do a Hurricanrana, but AJ turned it into the Styles Clash, and it's too much for Jeff, who's been in from the beginning of the match. He had a really good showing here tonight, but that Styles Clash out of nowhere, and Styles is going up top. He's going up on top of the chamber. He decides against, he goes back down. All the way back down. Hits his own German suplex. We've seen a lot of them in this match. Of course, Brock Lesnar in earlier on. Did a lot of them to Drew McIntyre. And Cena. Unbelievable show of resilience. He's took some punishment. And he's still in it. And he's got an opportunity here. But as it is, AJ... Is currently in control of the match. Who is going to go to fast lane to face Dolph Ziggler for the WTW Championship? Styles with a knee, single knee to the face of John Cena. Now attacking Cena's left knee. Picks him up. Up to his onto his back. Oh no. Backbreaker onto the knee. Nasty move that AJ Styles hits. Suplex. And AJ's really got things moving here. He wants to look to capitalise on it. Picks Cena up. He's gonna hit another Styles Clash. It's the third one of the match. But he's exhausted and he can't cover. Now he goes for the cover, but that second might be enough for Cena to kick out. And it is. He's kicked out of so much already. And I'm starting to believe that Cena has this match. 
covers AJ. Kick out. If Cena can hit any of his finishing moves, he has a real chance here. He's survived so much. Take down from AJ. Kick to the back. AJ hit that Styles Clash. I think it was his third of the match. And he must be thinking, what on earth do I have to do to put John Cena away? And it could be in the stars for John Cena here. But Styles has control once more. He whips Cena into the corner. Cena though turns things around. Pins. Styles. There's a two count. And these two are throwing everything at each other. And Styles is exhausted. He's absolutely out. Big knee to the face from Cena. And it's going to be the five knuckle shuffle from Cena here and he hits it he hits the five knuckle shuffle AJ getting to his feet he's up on the shoulders attitude adjustment that could be it Cena oh and a kick out again unbelievable stuff from these two superstars can't believe what we're witnessing here what a way to end our pay-per-view who's gonna win and that back break onto the knee again from Styles DDT and now is it Styles' turn? Oh, Cena. He manages to reverse what looked like was going to be the Styles Clash. And both men are bleeding now. Kick to the midriff. Back elbow from AJ. Then a German suplex into the pin. Oh, two count again. And AJ Styles is exhausted. He was the last man in the match, but he's he's done so much in it. Big knee from AJ Styles. Cena straight back up though. Picks. Oh, it's an attitude adjustment. He picked AJ up. And that's the match. John Cena is the winner of the Elimination Chamber. What an effort from both of those superstars. And what an end to the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Both men gave absolutely everything. Both were bleeding at the end of the match there. But John Cena managed to hit that attitude adjustment after taking so much punishment and John Cena is going to fast lane to face Dolph Ziggler for the WTW Heavyweight Cena. Championship and you can see the blood pouring down Cena's face some punishment in the Elimination Chamber we hope you have enjoyed our event tonight we will see you for Raw and Smackdown here on Welcome to Wrestling. Good night.